Excellency, Mexico has a number of excellent young players, but when we talk about the senior players, the one who's playing in the national uh, team, uh, you don't have that, you know, much talent. I mean, compared to other uh, South American countries or North American even, um, what happened? I think that what happens has a lot to do with the trainer himself. Uh, uh, we've had in the past some difficulties and uh, with, the, with the actual trainer of the adult team, of the, the one that has participated in the World Cups. And I think that may explain what, what happens because we have been very successful with the younger, uh, with the younger teams, the under, uh, under 17. Uh, on two occasions we won and last time we were almost a runner-up and uh, and then when it, when it comes to the to the to the older players we've, we've we've done okay I would say but not as good as, 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 as we would expect as I said I think it has to do with the actual trainer with a coach uh, and uh, which is you know the strategist and the, it's not so much their physical training as such but the, the, the strategy that, that, that they're using to, uh, to face other teams around the world. But what makes the younger players uh, really good? I mean, is it because they have the talent or is it you have another approach of training them for the younger players? Well, I would say, yes, they are talented. They are well trained. And I think that the, it's, it's a question of the strategy that they have been taught in order to face other very good teams and to be as successful as we have been. What is your target for this year? Are you confident that you're going to be the champion this year? Well, you know, it's always... Uh, in Mexico, uh, we have a saying that we're always, you know, very optimistic until we cease to be optimistic uh, when it comes to this type of, uh, of tournaments. Uh, but again, we're being optimistic and we have, of course, a reason to be because we have had a successful run in the past few years and hopefully this year we'll also have a, a successful one. We have a challenging uh, group that we're going to begin with. Uh, there's actually, you know, if, if, if by the Spanish letters, there's three A's. It's Argentina, Alemania, which is Germany, and Australia. Uh, uh, so I think that, you know, it, it's, uh, it's like a poker game with, you know, with the three A's in front of us. But I think that we, we, it's, a, it's a good challenge and I think that we can face it and I'm hopeful and confident that we're going to do very well. But I think that in the past, at least in the, in the sub-17 uh, or the under-17 in, uh, in English, uh, our team has always has also been a very tough one and a very good one, and uh, we're not intimidated. That's good. That's good. So, uh, talking about um, about the government support, I mean, what kind of support uh, does the Mexican government give to the younger players? From a very young age, people do sports, and especially football, which is a very dear sport uh, for us in, in Mexico. But there's always this sort of like, you know, the, the financial backing that is necessary to have the, uh, the, 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 the stadiums available, the, the, the uniforms and the whatever, whatever is re required. This is supported by the, by the Mexican.